Meanwhile, a federal investigation into guns, drugs, and fraud by two Milwaukee street gangs uncovers previously unknown details as to the motive behind a number of homicides and shootings over the past two years. And as Fox 6's Bill Miston explains, a gang feud started in part because of the desecration of a gang member's grave. Back in September 2020, mourners were gathered here at this funeral home near 43rd and Townsend. Police say it was that ongoing feud that ended with seven people being shot and wounded. Now, newly uncovered court documents reveal what started that feud and where that investigation led federal agents, including looking into bank and wire fraud. Shattered glass in a bullet riddled funeral parlor. Seven people injured in the hail of bullets. Mourners were there for the funeral of 26 year old Braxton Taylor. Court documents say he was a member of a Milwaukee street gang. Now, newly unsealed court documents say the shooting stemmed from an ongoing feud between that gang and another that started a year earlier. It was January 2019 that 26 year old Lawrence Hamilton, a known gang member, was shot and killed. His grave later desecrated by a rival gang. Investigators say the desecration of Hamilton's grave and memorial is what started the violent feud. Milwaukee police say his murder and the funeral home shooting are still unsolved. Since federal court documents say multiple homicides, shootings, and illegal possession of machine guns are suspected to be associated with the ongoing gang feud. The gangs have been under investigation by the ATF, Milwaukee police, and FBI since February of last year, including this man, 31-year-old Akeem Hudson. He's in prison. A jury found him guilty of drug and gun charges last fall. But according to court documents, while in jail on those charges, Hudson's Facebook account remained active, making posts, soliciting people to defraud unemployment insurance, COVID-19 relief, and check kiting schemes with area banks. It's unclear if charges have been filed in that investigation. Hours after that shooting at the funeral for Taylor, a memorial was held here at 21st and Center. That memorial, too, was interrupted by gunfire when a woman was shot and wounded in the head. Reporting in Milwaukee, Bill Miston, Fox 6 News.